All right, just waiting for some peeps to get here. Let's see if I can get myself live here. So I can see you guys in the chat. I can never tell how to see myself live. I don't know why. Let's see. Refresh my channel. Am I live yet? How do I see myself live, you guys? I don't know. I have a viewer. I can't see you. You can see me. <laughs> I'll get started here in just a second. I'm just trying to see myself live so I can answer chats. <clears throat> Hang tight. Here we go. Now I can see it. Yay. Hang tight. Oh, wait. I got to turn down my, my volume. Let's see. Here we go. Now I can see it. Yay. <laughs> Where's my volume, you guys? Hang tight. I wish I gotta turn down my my volume. I am like YouTube deficient, you guys. Seriously, I can't find my volume. <laughs> Where's my volume? Seriously, I'm gonna have to go back and edit this chat, you guys. This is crazy. Edit this video. Okay, hang on. I'm just trying to find my volume thingy. It's for some reason not working, so I can't turn off or mute myself, which is dumb. Ugh. My volume thing is not there, and my toggles are not working. So, whatever. Um, okay, so we're just going to get to it. I probably will not be able to see your chats again because I had to pause the video live. Which is dumb. I don't know why. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. So this is my huge shoe haul from the bins this morning. Um, I got about 100 pounds of shoes. And oh my gosh, today's trip to the bins was crazy. There were so many people there. I, I don't know where they all came from. It, it was crazy. Actually, this was yesterday, not today. Um, there were so many people there. I, I don't know what happened, but like I've never had to fight people at the shoe bins before. I mean, I didn't have to fight anybody this time either. Um, I'm totally being dramatic, but I mean, like usually it's just me going through the shoe bins. Maybe one or two people come and go, but like this time we were all like vultures on the shoe bins and they actually took away the full shoe bins like while we were going through them and I was about to have a heart attack because they were taking away like my mountains of gold. And it was really, it triggered me. Um, but then I brought back new mountains of gold. And then everybody was like, like they are at the rest of the bins. You know how they jump in and like grab armfuls of crap. It was crazy. I've never seen it like that before. Um, which makes me wonder, you have all these people digging through the bins, not getting the awesome shoes. Like what are they looking for? If they're not picking up Gucci shoes and like, crazy, awesome, I don't know, what are they looking for that they're leaving behind the 100 pounds of shoes that I got? It makes no sense. Oh, yay, I can see the chat even with it muted. That's awesome. The real Tiff. Hi. I'm so excited. Okay, so let's just jump right into it. Um, so these are not Mossimos. These are Massimos. Um, these are real leather shoes um, with like the snake skin print here. They're brown and beautiful. I don't usually pick up a lot of brown shoes, so I'm kind of branching out a little bit, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> um, all right, so that's those. These I thought were super cute. Oh my gosh, okay. So these are Madden Girls by Steve Madden. But look at how cute those are with their little designs. And this is like a satiny material. Oh my gosh, so cute. 
and the patent is in decent shape. There's a couple of little like scuff marks, but I'll get those off with my off active bug spray. That is my magic shoe trick. The off active bug spray and the um, magic eraser and this little um, goo remover stuff that um, my, my, my dog's Aunt Lily sent me. So these are so cute. I, these are probably my favorite shoes just because they're so far getting cute. Um, what size are these? These are, ah, where's the Fargan size? I hate it when I can't find the size easily. It drives me crazy. So if I can't find the size, I'm going to have to freaking measure them, which I hate doing. Oh, there it is. There it is. There it is. They're a size 10, not my size. Fortunately or unfortunately, you guys, I have so many shoes. Oh my God. I find a flaw in like these awesome shoes I get. I have to keep them. I can't sell them if they have a, sh a flaw and they're my size. I'm just saying. Um, these are Amanda Smith made in Brazil leather shoes. I'm not going to take the rubber bands off of all of these, you guys. Brown um, leather just to have a couple of little scuff marks to all clean off. These are just boring Montego Bay leather sandals. I'm, I'm picking up anything that's summer and in really, really good shape. Um, hi, babe. <laughs> My husband is watching. <laughs> Justin Ariel is in the house. <laughs> you dork. Um, okay. These are super cute little Fioni shoes. And they're like a tan, nude, beige color with these cute little bows. Um, somebody will definitely grab those. Super cute. I love red shoes, so I've been kind of picking up more red shoes lately. Um, these are Kenneth Cole Reactions. And they're kitten heels, which is super awesome. I love kitten heels. And they're ankle straps. So they're Kenneth Cole ankle straps, kitten heels, and they're red. So like all these awesome keywords that I'm going to be able to put in there. Um, in super good shape, you can see the soles are barely worn. Um, I'll get this off with the, the magic eraser or the, um, the bug spray, the off active bug spray. Um, yeah, so these are super cute and these are a size 10 and they're leather, they're patent leather. <sighs> Oops. Okay. Um, more red shoes. These are delicious. That is the brand. And I'll put like my little plastic feeties in here when I take the pictures of them so that they stand up and they're um, in better shape for the camera. But these are super cute. Love these. There's a like a little spot on the suede right here that I'll clean off really easily. If they were your size, you could keep them. Thanks, babe. I totally would too. <laughs> the red suede and awesome. Oh my gosh. Um, these are awesome. These are giraffe animal print nine West shoes um, with this cute little cutout open toe. The heels are in great shape. Animal prints usually go pretty quick. And not only are they animal print, but they're like a fur. Can you see the texture? That's actual I mean, it's actual giraffe fur. It's, it's faux fur, obviously, but it's, it's textured like fur. I remember when I was a teenager, I used to have this really cool pair of zebra, zebra fur tennis shoes. They kind of look like bowling shoes, but they were zebra fur. Anyway, those were some of my favorite shoes. They were awesome. Um, the Kenneth kitten ones, which one? Oh, the little, yeah, they're, they're very big, babe. I can't keep those. Um, these are... Prevos. So these are Prevos, and they're like an athletic walking nurse waitress type shoe. I ha did not pull comps on these, so I actually don't know what they are. But you know how sometimes when you're you're at the bends and you have this feel, and you just like mm, I'm gonna pick those up because I'm pretty sure they're gonna be worth something. I'm pretty sure these are gonna be worth something, and they are in excellent shape. Um, and again, I've said this before in my haul videos, I don't pull comps when I'm at the bins usually. Um, I just kind of go by feel and by what I know, and then I come home and pull comps. These are adorable. These are uh, Maurice's, and they're 
excellent shape. You can see there's not even a scuff or a dent on this heel. And this is like a twill tweed type material with this cute little design on the top. Excellent shape. Love those. Tiff. Oh my gosh. The real Tiff. Do you sell clothes too? Girl, go back and watch my clothing haul videos. Holy cow. Yes, I sell clothes. Shoes are my favorite, but I have a crap ton of clothes. And right now I have about a hundred pounds of clothes sitting right there. If you can kind of see, see that giant. No, that's not it. Is that it? Yeah. See that giant mountain of clothes right there? <laughs> That's my next haul video. Oh no, I just spilled something on my desk. That was fantastic. Okay, um, these are just cute little naturalizer shoes. I always pick up naturalizers that are in decent shape and these are wooden-ish wooden-ish cloggy type heels um, with this leather upper. Naturalizers are super comfortable. If they are my size, they may end up in my closet. No, no, I have plenty, plenty of shoes. Didn't, didn't I just have the rubber band that went with these? I guess where I had the rubber band. Well, I don't know where the rubber band is. Um, oh, these are cute. Cutie, cute, cute. Um, these are Torrid shoes, and these are brand spanking new. They have not been worn ever, ever, possibly tried on in the store, but like, I don't even see a speck of dirt. So I don't know. So these are Torrid um, and these are a bigger size. These are a size 12. So I imagine these will go to maybe a drag queen or one of my friends in Portland that goes to shows at night. <laughs> Um, or just a really, really tall girl. I don't know. Um, so these are awesome. I love these. If these were my size, again, I have way too many shoes. But um, these are kind of like a snake sprint, a snake sprint, textured print pattern with a zip up heel. Um, and they're brand new toward shoes, so I should get a good chunk of change from those. I think these will probably end up going on Poshmark. Honestly, I mean, I always list them on eBay and Poshmark, um, but I think they'll sell on Poshmark before they sell on eBay. All right. These are Mud. Um, Mud is not like our super popular brand, but um, I tend to do okay with it. I'm just putzing with the buckle here because it's all crazy. I'll show you the one that's not crazy on the buckle at the moment. Um, so these are just mud. Like I said, not a super popular brand, but I do okay with it. And like I said, I'm picking up anything summer sandal that's in excellent shape. No scuffs or anything on the heels. Just a super cute little basic summer black sandal. All right. These are more aerosols because that's how I roll. Um, yes, Poshmark, I did receive my bundle. I will rate it when I am done. Um, so aerosols, cute little suede, super comfy walking shoes, size 10. Excellent condition. Why does my phone always blow up when I go live? I'm just waiting for the kids and the dogs to come running out here. Don't do it, Justin. <laughs> um, these are Anne Michelle. Excellent condition, size 10. I picked up a lot of size 10 today. Um, excellent condition, just regular pumps. And they're like, uh, can you see? They're not a patent, um, and they're not leather. They're all man-made, but they're kind of a shinier, um, not as shiny as patent, but still shiny leather-like material. And they're pointy toe. <clears throat> these are cute little predict predictions shoes again not a super popular brand but they'll go because it's a popular design cute little like wingtip oxford heel um you can list these as like witchy um just some keywords that kind of help them go let's see i think i need a bigger box <clears throat> 
Um, Elizabeth, yes, tuning in live finally. Woohoo! Are these from the bins? Yes, these are from the bins. It's 100 Fargan pounds of shoes, Elizabeth. <gasps> um, okay, Justin, I don't know what you're saying why not to. So, <laughs> um, Franco Sardo, I always pick up Franco Sardos in good shape. This is my first pair of brown Franco Sardos. In fact, I think this is my per first pair of non just traditional pumps or kitten heels. Um, this is a really cool, like, suede, like, stretchy top with a zipper and then the giraffe print here. Super cute. Excellent shape. They I don't know that they've been worn too much, maybe one or two times. Adorbs. The Real Tiff says, my sis-in-law wears an 11. Hard for her to find cute shoes. Okay, that's crazy. Coming in with the kids and dogs. Aha, you're so funny, babe. Um, how tall is your sister, Tiff, that she wears an 11? Not that you have to be super tall to wear an 11, but... Um, these are... Something... Oh, these are those weird Enzo Angiolini. Angiolini. An Enzo Angiolini. And these, I'm going to demonstrate in another video how you um, kind of restore leather because it's a little wrinkly um, and so yeah I'll show you guys how you can kind of restore it so that the wrinkles come out and it doesn't look bad. Um, the insides of these shoes aren't the best but the outsides are excellent. The heels are in great shape, no chunks or dents or anything. The insides um, are, are a little bit rougher than I usually would get, but Enzo's usually tend to go fairly quickly. And I'll just list these like super cheap just because of the insides. But you can see the insides there, not so good. And I might check with my shoe peeps and just see if it would be worth doing anything on the inside. Otherwise, I'll just list these up for 10 bucks and somebody will snag them because they're pretty cute. And they're Enzo's. En Enzo Angiolini. Alrighty. These, I got a lot of animal prints, y'all. Dude, okay, so these are one of those shoes that I picked up and I was like, dude, what are you guys looking for if you're passing over Stuart Weitzman shoes? Seriously. Like, dude. Hello, perfect shape Stuart Weitzman shoes. You guys know Stuart Weitzman commands a pretty penny, yeah? Animal print, no scuffs. No scuffs on the heels. I mean, they're cut out, open-toed. Like, they're awesome. I love these. Leather, leather soles. What's the size? What's the size? I don't know. I'm going to have to measure them. Seriously. Ugh. I have to measure. Okay, I'm going to guess these are a 10. These might be an 11. These might be an 11. I hate having to measure shoes. So when you go to measure shoes, I don't have my measuring tape right here, but when you go to measure shoes, you measure it from the tip of the toe to the back of the heel. And usually it's um, in centimeters and you can just look up a shoe size conversion chart on the Goog and it will tell you what size it is. <clears throat> All righty. Elizabeth, how many items do you typically have on eBay? Um, oh, and Mike says average cost per pair, about a dollar. Most of these shoes are right around a pound. Um, a lot of them are under a pound, and a few of them are over a pound. Like these will be just over a pound, um, but they average out to a dollar a pair. And I usually sell them for minimum $10, sometimes 20, sometimes more. So it's a very good return. Um, these are size seven. And these are bamboo, and I got these just because of the style. Bamboo is not like a super popular brand, but the style, I really, I go for style. Chunky, um, like jelly sandal cutout cage. That's another keyword, cage shoes with these crazy round toes and their platform. Awesome. So those are interesting, and they're in pretty good shape. <clears throat> Um, oh, and Mike, you asked how many items do you typically have on eBay? Um, 
I have just over 300 right now. I have another probably 200 pairs of shoes to list and another probably 300 pieces of clothing to list. So sometime in the next week, my store will be up to 800. Woo, 800 items. Okay, okay. crazy but awesome, right? Um, these are White Mountain, cute little Mary Janes. I love Mary Janes. I always pick up Mary Janes. They usually go pretty quickly. It doesn't really matter. She's 5'10", the real tip says. Um, Elizabeth says, I got a pair of awesome bamboo wedges for myself at Goodwill for 99 cents two days ago. It's all about style. That's right. Virtual high five. Totally agree. It's all about style. Okay. I'm going to show you guys something. Don't judge me. I have no idea what these are, but it, my little radar went off and I was like, oh, you should get those, even though they're weird and a little dirty. <laughs> Somebody will want them. I just know it. Um, these are Palladium. So La Originale Palladium Depuis 1947. Some sort of French shoe. I don't know. Um, I don't know what the heck these are, you guys. Like I said, they're weird and a little dirty, but they're kind of cool. They're a size 40, so I'll have to um, do the googly sizey thing. I think off the top of my head that that is a size 10. I'm fairly positive that's a size 10 um, in women's. <clears throat> oh, yeah. See, it's all Frenchy Frenchy inside here. Frenchy Frenchy. And it says US 9. I was wrong. So, yeah, I don't know what the heck these are. Palladiums. If somebody feels like looking up palladium canvas boot ugly shoe things, that would be awesome. I'm sure they're not called that, but <clears throat> I don't know. It was just one of those hunchy things. Somebody will want them. <clears throat> um, Mike says, are you shooting for the 1% rule where you sell 1% per day? I'm actually shooting for 10%. Am I, like, shooting for the moon or what? Because ideally, I really would love to sell 10%. No, um, my ultimate goal is to sell 30 items per day. So that's less than 10%, obviously. If I have 800 items in my store, I'm hoping to sell 30 a day. You do the math. I suck at the math. Um, these are just some life stride. Ah! Apparently, I can't hold on to my shoes or my alcohol. Um... Life Stride Black Summer Sandals. Nothing special, but summery and cute. Again, animal print. These are Style & Co. Giraffe. That's giraffe, right? Hey, guys. I have another spot. I think I'm getting sick. Is that giraffe? or No, that's like leopard, right? Or cheetah or something. Not giraffe because giraffe is like squares. Leopard, cheetah, animal print. I don't know. And they're satiny. And in great shape. I really need a bigger box. I am super running out of room. <clears throat> okay. These are very soft and supple leather. These are just Nicole boots. Super soft and supple. Like, I just want to feel them all day. They're so soft and pretty. These will probably not go until the fall. Um, because nobody's really buying booties right now. I mean, I'll put them up. Somebody somewhere may want them. I don't know. I'll go up. All right. More red. These are cool. I really like these. Um, these definitely I'm going to have to do the, the leather wrinkle trick because it's got a little bit of a wrinkle where they were kind of like er, shoved together. Um, Mike, after you list, do you store in bins? For my clothes, yes, I store in bins. And I'll do a tour of my office and show you guys my storage system, my inventory. Um, for my shoes, I have some of them in bins. I have a different system. If you go back and you watch my full shoe listing process from start to finish. It shows you how I check them in, how I clean them, how I list them, and then how I store them. But just in a quick recap nutshell, I have three different bins. I have um, bin one that is for shoes that are under 16 ounces and will go first class. Bin two is for shoes that will fit in a padded mailer, a, a priority mail 
padded flat rate that are over 16 ounces. Bin three is everything else. So anything that will um, not fit in a padded flat rate, it's over 16 pounds. Um, and then I have a third option that is not in the bins. Anything that's leather or easily damaged goes in shoe racks. I have these white cube shoe racks and I store those um, more fragile and shoes that I want to keep nicer in the shoe racks. So anyway, these are super cute little, they're paprika. They have this mirrored stiletto wedge or not wedge, um, heel. And I think these are actual patent leather, fairly positive. And it doesn't say on here anywhere material, but I am fairly positive that these are leather and there's no size. Ugh, so I'm gonna have to measure those too which is super annoying, but I will have to do my little leather wrinkle trick on there as well. Yes. Um, oh, first time watching. Thanks, Mike. Yeah, go back and watch the um, cool shoe haul video. It's, I think it's pretty fun. I mean, not the shoe haul, the uh, process, the shoe process. These are BCBG. I love BCBG. Um, I don't know why. I just, I am in love with BCBG. I have a whole bunch of BCBG myself and I always pick it up when I see it in the bins. These are cool because they're super unique shape. They're not just a regular stiletto pump. They come up over your Achilles heel and like up onto your ankle. Um, and you just don't see that shape in a high heel very often. And they're again, in excellent shape. So had to pick them up A because I love BCBG and B because the shape is unique. <laughs> there's a lot of you watching but there's not a lot of chatter going on <laughs> um these are just more montego bay club summer sandals i don't really know what i'll list these for probably like 15 bucks i don't know these are size nine. Oh, these are super cute okay these are charlotte ruse and i love these i always get these unique little can you see it's my light crazy um i always get these unique designs so these are the cutout bow um jute and then like eyelet i think that's eyelet that you would call that cloth on it the light is really weird anyway hopefully hopefully you can see those but they're super cute charlotte roof shoes size eight these are my size but I will not be keeping them because, oh my God, I would kill myself. The heel is just way too high for me. They're in decent shape. Definitely decent shape. Definitely will go pretty quickly. These are very summery shoes. Oh, I am out of room already. Honey, I need a bigger box. Um, I do share my eBay name. And I think it's actually listed in my description-y thing down here. Um, it's also on my Instagram, but it's um, A Real Legacy LLC. So A Real, A-R-E-A-L Legacy LLC. <clears throat> um, these are more aerosols. These are um, Aerology by Aerosols. Just brown, little cute, cut out um, T-strap um, leather sandals. Ooh, more red shoes. These are Alfani suede, so cute, so cute. And let's see if there's a size on here. Damn it! Why do I always get the shoes that I have to measure? So irritating. Oh, thank God, they're size seven. Ah, oh, so cute. And there's just one little dirt stuff. Oh, look at that! It just came right off with my hands. Okay. Um, more St. John's Bay leather, brown, summer sandal heels. These are brand spanking new, never been worn. I'm always curious, like, how brand new shoes end up in the bins. What's their story? You know what I'm saying? These are Indigos, and they're very cute brown leather cloggy type slides. Um, and if you can see, it's got like a cute little blue accent, like stitching and then blue flowers on it. It's really cute. Made for comfort. And those look darn near new, if not 
Oh, there's a little dirt. So they're not new, but they are very lightly worn. Alrighty, these are J. Crew. Again, what are you people going to the bins for if you're passing up J. Crew shoes that are like in excellent shape? Um, there's a little, it's just dirt. It's just going to come right off. Just a little bit of dirt. And I'll take, I have some like a stiff um, bristle brush that I'll take to the suede to clean up any dirt and kind of raise up the the um the suede but super cute little wedges j crew size eight and a half so cute oh my gosh i really need a bigger box okay um more leather animal print and i'm probably gonna have to do my little um my little leather trick because it's like kind of squished in so I'll just tell you really quickly what my leather trick is. So you fill out the shoe so it's nice and like filled out with something, whether it's like a plastic foot or um, a bunch of tissue paper or whatever. Fill it out so it's nice and filled in. And then you just warm it up with a heat gun or a hair dryer um, and just let it kind of um, expand a little bit to the, the um, filling that you've got in there and then let it cool with that filling in there and then it'll kind of all those little leather wrinkles will just pop right out and it'll look a lot better um these are magician magdesi i don't know what that you can see what that is magician magic i have no idea it's m-a-g d-e-s-i-a-n i don't know it's leather it's quality it's very cool um, 10, size 10 wide, wide, uh, wide sizes tend to actually go pretty quickly. There's not a lot of wide sizes listed. My phone keeps blowing up. Alrighty. These are nothing special. These are just mix its cute little blingy flip flops. I keep shooting my rubber bands everywhere. All right. Oh, these are interesting. So these are just fabulous. Just fabulous. And y'all, <laughs> um, if I ever tried to wear a pair of shoes like this, you would be visiting me in the hospital for like 10 broken bones. I'm just saying. But these are in <laughs> great shape. Um, somebody will want these. Not me. Somebody will want them. They're size. They're size eight. They're my size. I am not going to be trying them on. I swear you would be visiting me in the hospital. Alrighty. These are Chadwick's cute little summer metallic gold flip flops, um, kitten heel wedges. Tons of keywords there. Chadwick's pretty cute. Again, nothing super special, but I pick up everything that's in good shape and summary. <clears throat> Alrighty. Ah, Via Spiga. Is that how you say that? Via Spiga? Via Spiga? Via Spiga? I think it's Via Spiga. Um, again, what are people going to the bins for if they're passing up these things? I do not know, but they are super cute and I love them. Um, leather via Spiga shoes, size 11. Hey, Tiffany, your sister could use these. <laughs> um, anywho, yeah, these are cute. These are almost nude, but they're like a metallic, like bronzy, goldy color. I'm not sure what color I'm actually going to call these. They are leather, um, open toe, cut out awesomeness. This is one I will put in that white cubby cut out. Thing, not in the bins with the rest of the shoes. They are more expensive, nicer shoe. And I love them. They are not my size. Not that I would keep them anyway because they're so tall I would fall on my butt. Oh my gosh. Okay. More red shoes. I got a lot of red shoes. Okay. These are another, oh, another pair of paprikas. Oh, um, if you remember, the paprikas were the ones with the crazy mirrored, like, stiletto. So more paprikas with the bow. 
super cute. These are eight and a half. Open toe, peep toe, shoes, heels, whatever. No chunks out of the heels. That's important. Always look for that. I'm missing a shoe. The rubber band fell off. Oh, there it is. Ugh. These are super cute, Easy Spirits. I love Easy Spirits. And these look like they've barely been worn too. Super cute. I love Easy Spirits. And these are a size six. And you guys know by now I pick up everything that's like a jute wedge. <laughs> so cute. These are just exhilaration, um, exhilaration. And they're brown with like a little floral bow and lace accents. Excellent condition. These are a size six and a half. I'll probably use keywords like boho, gypsy, hippie. I don't know. Super cute. I love them. <laughs> All right. Um, these I almost didn't pick up, but then I was like, you know, somebody's looking for like a a basket weave butterfly. What are these? Yellow, blue. What? What? Yellow something. Yellow something. If somebody knows what that is, yellow something. Let me know. But anyway, if somebody's looking for these cute little, like, basket weave, ropey, bamboo, wicker, butterfly sandals. I don't know. I almost didn't get them, but I don't know. They're cute. Somebody will want them. Ah, I have dirt. Dirt. I don't like the dirt. Do not like. Um, more naturalizers. Again, I always pick up naturalizers, and these are just brown leather kitten heel wedges. What size are these? These are a size eight and a half, so they cannot end up in my closet, unfortunately. Okay, these are Kenneth Cole reactions. I thought these were super cute. These are um, a Mary Jane wedge with elastic for the Mary Jane part. I always pick up the Kenneth Cole stuff, especially when it's in really good shape like this. Yellow box. Thank you, Lisa. Yellow box. Now I have to remember that when I'm listening. Yellow box, yellow box, yellow box. Is that a good brand, Lisa? I don't even know. I just picked it up because it was sort of cute. Um, they're a vintage 80s look sandal. Ah. Sweet. Thank you. I never know what to say. Oh, you know what? I may have not seen. Yeah. Darn it. Okay. So these are nickel soft, super cute brown leather loafer type thing. But what I didn't notice when I picked them up because the rubber band was right here. And I told you guys on my last shoe haul, move the rubber bands so that you can see if there's any damage. Well, I didn't do that. So what we're looking at here is a little bit of damage. So it's kind of coming up right here um, where the little thingy, the flap thingy is. It's kind of coming up a little bit. And it's not super noticeable, but I notice it and I probably will not sell that shoe. So this will go back. It'll get redonated, which is unfortunate. So bye bye. Redonate. Okay. Vintage 80s look. Rack room. What's rack room? I've never heard of that. Vintage 80s look sandal. I'm going to have to go back and look that up. Um, <clears throat> these are born. I love born shoes. And again, these are jute leather sandals. Summer style. Born is a very popular brand. I don't know if it's very popular, but it goes for a nice chunk. And especially when it's super cute like this. I love born. Rack room. I just haven't heard of rack room. That's um those butterfly samples that she's talking about. <clears throat> All right. These are club zone, just cute little like cocktail dressy blingy kitten heels. I probably have like four pairs of that type of sandal now. 
Maybe I should stop getting them because they don't move very fast. <laughs> um, these I thought were kind of cute. These are Born Crown. I haven't heard of that brand before, Born Crown. Hold on, I gotta stick the little ankle thingy through. <clears throat> Born Crown, interesting. So these are cute. They're like a gold metallic. Oh, look at that bottom. How cute is that? Just made two sales while watching. I am good luck, Tiff. Woohoo! <laughs> uh, these are adorable. Okay, so these are brand new. They've never been worn. All the stickers are still on them. The, sh the heels are in perfect condition. Those are so cute. I love those. And they're super squishy. I think I have something good in my hands right now. Can somebody pull comps on these really quick? Um, it's either Born Crown or Barn. No, it's Born. It's Born Crown. <clears throat> B-O-R-N-C-R-O-W-N. Yellow bow are about 30 retail. Is that the butterfly ones I had, Lisa? Um, anyway, can somebody pull comps on these? So these are super cute. Gold kitten heel wedges, born crown. I'll set these aside. I'm really curious. They're brand new. I'm curious to see what those are going to go. I, I've never heard of born crown before. I just thought they were in good shape and they were summery. So I grabbed them. Liz Claiborne Flex. <clears throat> Flex. Um, these are also semi popular. Super cute. These are. Hey, well, they're leather. What size are you? Size nine and a half. Yellow bow. I think you meant yellow box, Lisa. Because you said you typed yellow bow. I was like, I don't have any yellow bow shoes. <laughs> okay. These are going in my closet. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I thought these were just adorable little baby shoes and they're leather. And they're cute. So I picked them up and they're pink and they're adorable. So if you know anybody with a baby that wears a size two shoes that loves little pink baby shoes, I have them. Alrighty. Ugh. I gotta shake my box here. Criminy. Box, yes. <laughs> okay, um, these are dance co's. I always see dollar signs when I see dance goes in the bins that are in good shape. I had like four pair, four singles of dance goes in my cart and I could not find the stinking matches. It's so triggering when I have like the most amazing shoes in my cart that I pick up at one end. I'll pick up like a, I picked up a couple of Gucci shoes. I mean, I had some amazing shoes in my cart and I pick them up at one end and I go like all four bins looking through trying to find their match and usually I'll find like 50% of the matches for what I have in my cart and the other 50% I have to mourn the loss of them at the end. It's so sad. I hate it. So anyway, squirrel dance goes super cute kitten heel wedgie type shoes. Very good shape. I think those will go for a nice little chunk. <laughs> I picked up these cute little stormtrooper slippers because they were like, what, 10 cents? I don't know. Somebody will want those. I also have a Star Wars bathrobe, so I might like bundle these up together. But those were cute. I get the crazy, craziest looking shoes, you guys. I like crazy looking shoes. These are something. These are Madden girls. Let's zip up the back. So these are Madden girls. Um, hidden wedge or whatever that's called. I don't know. These are a cute little platform wedge. Mary Jane elastic ankle strap zippery thing. Super cute. I think these are, I want to say eight and a half. Possibly fairly sure those are eight and a half. It's hard to tell. Oh, I'm gonna have to measure. Did anybody look up those orange crowns yet? You guys help me. Um, all right. 
these are more aerosols. I'm not gonna like take the rubber bands off. You guys know I love me some aerosols. Brown leather, super awesome aerosols. I got a pair of aerosols off Poshmark that I wore today walking around in Portland. And they were the first pair of aerosols I've ever worn that were not comfortable. My feet were dying after an hour. I'm super sad about that. So, damn it, those are going back on Poshmark. I'm going to reposh them and eBay. They're super freaking cute. They just did not work for me. Um, Yes, I still buy shoes off Poshmark, even though I buy, like, 200 pairs of shoes a week. Um, These are Brass Plum. You guys remember Brass, brass Plum? These are super adorable little black satin heels. Very cute. Somebody will want these for like a prom or karaoke night. I don't know. I sing karaoke. You guys, if you sing karaoke, tell me what your favorite karaoke song is in the comments. All right. These are KB and Company leather super cute little floral cutout designs and this is leather kb and company very cute oh i'm super out of room naturalizers excellent condition um sling back naturalizers very very good shape and these are a size 11 tiff Again, tell your sister, I have a lot of shoes. <laughs> um, these are Clark's Artisan Collection. I usually pick up Clark's if I see them, especially if they're in really good shape. Ugh. Oh my God, my legs are killing me from the squat challenge. Woo! Dying. All right, these are J4, I think, I think that's the brand, J41, J41, I'm pretty sure that's the brand, you guys, I'm super shoe brand ignorant occasionally, <laughs> and I feel like this might be one of those times, J41, um, I feel like these are worth something pretty decent, they have this like memory foam inside, it looks like they got really good arch, arch support, they are in excellent shape. I think I've seen other people's haul videos where they're talking about J41s, and I just remembered it, so I snagged them because they were really in great shape. I, I really don't know what these are going to be worth, so it'll be fun. It's a mystery. Um, Tiff, let's see. Oh, Darlene, what is the price of shoes at your bins? 99 cents a pound, baby. That's right. My Most of my shoes I pay a buck for. Um, Tiff, I'm seeing sold listings on Born Crown all over from 9 to 20. Patent leather ones for 34. Well, that's not as good as I was hoping. Darn it. But you know what? I'm going to guess 20 because, dang it, these are adorbs and they're brand spanking. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hold out for 20. I'm going to get $20. I'm manifesting $20 for those Born Crown shoes. Okay. Alrighty. More Montego Bay Club. I think I got like three Montego Bay Club leather summery sandals today. These are size seven. Ugh. These are bandolinos. Cute little nude leather. Just traditional, awesome looking pumps. These are size eight. Bandolinos tend to run a little narrow for me. I mean, they're just a normal size, but. They're a little narrow for me. My foot can kind of be like normal, but it can kind of be wide. You know, it's got moods. It depends on the mood. These are Anne Klein cutout pumps. Super cute. I love Anne Klein stuff. Patent pointy toe. You guys, look at this pile I've created behind me. I don't know if you can see it, but it's crazy. Um. Okay, we're almost done. I have three more pairs, four more pairs of shoes, and then tomorrow I'm going to do the 100 pounds of clothes that I got yesterday. Woo, it was a crazy day. Um, let's get these horns back. Okay, these are super cute. These are Report 
the brand is report never heard of the brand don't know what it is i just know it's summery it's cute it's blingy it has gems and it's florally watercolor cute summer sandals i don't know like i said never heard of them summer cute equals i buy it two pair of ann Kleins today yep i love ann Kleins. Saving the best for last. <laughs> yeah. You're not going to think it's the best, but I think it's the best. All right. Oh, my gosh. Um, why did I pick up these? Oh, I only picked up these because of the name. So right now, this time of year, I'm not usually buying boots or booties. Um, these are a leather ankle boot, but the brand is Echo. So I had to pick it up. It was in really, really good shape. Uh, they are a size nine, I guess. Yeah, I think they're a size nine. Made in Brazil. Goodwill wanted twelve ninety nine for them. <laughs> um, but anyway, Echo is a really, really good brand. So even though it is summer, I picked them up. And then I snagged these Rockports. I usually will get rock ports if they're in great shape. Rock ports are nice and comfortable and awesome. What size are these? These are size nine and a half. Okay, last pair of shoes I got. These, okay, so my bins have the bins and then they have the case up front. And the case up front is where they take all the good shoes. The good shoes, like they grab the J Crews and the other, I don't know. They, they take the tennis shoes that they like, like the really expensive Nikes um, and those types of things. And they put them in the case and then they price those separately. They're getting smart, right? Um, so in the case, these caught my eyeballs. And the only reason they caught my eyeballs and the only reason that I paid $10 for them is because they're Seahawks colors and I am a Seahawks freak. Um, these are Skechers, and they're super cute with their cute little, like, blue and green and white and sparkles and glitter. I love them. So, and it says Cali in a heart on the side. If I could just scrape that off and put Seahawks, I might do that. They don't fit me. They're a size five and a half. Um, they'll probably fit my bestie because she wears a five and a half, and she's an even bigger Seahawks freak than I am. So I might surprise her with these. But, um, yeah, I paid $10 for these just because they look amazing. And I think my bestie will love them or I can probably get some pretty decent money from them. So, yeah, that's my shoe haul. Don't laugh at me or judge me on my Seahawks shoes. That is my shoe haul from yesterday, guys. And I will do a giant clothing haul for you tomorrow. Also, I am putting together more wholesale lots. So if you guys want some wholesale clothes, definitely shoot me an email. Wholesale at thriftycrystal.com is the email to send. And I'll send you back pricing and wholesale lot information. All right, guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.